Welcome to another edition of the Solopreneur Movement Podcast. My name is Dr. Bruce. I'm the founder and director of 90 Day Sales Manager. And every single week I come to your life with some type of content that I believe will move the needle for you personally and or professionally for you as a solopreneur falls solely on you every single week, every single day, really, to go out there and tie to your sales, your service, your marketing of all of this is a mindset. So this week we have a special edition, a topic for Groundhog's Day called Same Shit, Different Day. How many times do you feel like you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and not really seeing the results that you want to get. And you feel like you're stuck because of that. That's the topic we're going to break down for you and give you some tips on how to get unstuck in your business. Welcome to this week's podcast episode edition, a special Groundhog's Day edition called Same Shit, Different Day. Part of my French, but it's just funny because that's one of my favorite movies growing up was Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. And the storyline is essentially Bill Murray wakes up and he has to go through Groundhog Day, day after day after day after day. And it literally drives him crazy. And I just think about that for us in the business world, for our sales business, is a lot of us are going through. It feels like we're just doing the same thing again and again and again. And the definition of insanity that you have probably heard is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. And it's kind of a paradox for us in business, right? As salespeople, we're taught we need routines. We need to be consistent. We need to be disciplined. We need to have time block systems, right? We need to do essential things every single day to go out there and grow our business. We need to have non-negotiables. But within all that being said, if we're not getting the results that we think we should be getting quick enough, we become frustrated. And frustration is just misguided enthusiasm, right? And additionally, if we wake up and we do the same thing again and again and again, it can become not, uh, mind numbing, right? It becomes monotonous. It becomes boring. And I think this is one of the biggest challenges that a lot of entrepreneurs have because entrepreneurs, like we like shiny new things. Uh, we like exciting new things. We're constantly creating. We're, uh, you know, we're constantly going out there and chasing that shiny new object, that new marketing tool. And those are all distractions, quite frankly. And the reality is we need to wake up and do a lot of the same things again and again. The highest value of our activity typically uh, comes to us having uh, conversations through our phone, right? It comes to us doing uh, the daily heavy lifting that's required of us. So I just think about that for you, for you and your business when it comes to same shit, different day, and you're not getting the results that you want to have quick enough. I know I've been there. And so some of the things that I consistently do is I try to gamify the process, right? That's why I teach the selling system. Uh, I like to follow theme days on certain days to do uh, different types of uh, conversations within my business. Like Mondays for me, like right now, it's content creation. I shoot my podcast. Uh, I do my weekly live coaching calls for all of our paid subscribers, all that kind of stuff, right? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday then for me are more uh, out in the market, out in the, uh, in the sales force or doing speaking engagements, which is one of my favorite things to do that are out there. But I just tell you that because I think when you just wake up and you do the same thing again and again and again, you're going to get bored by it. It's going to become monotonous, all right? And so there's a concept called essentialism. Essentialism means like what are the most essential things that you should be doing every single day? And then spend 60 to 90 minutes on those activities. And so what I, whenever, again, I'm not getting the results that I believe I should be getting and they're not coming fast enough, I always ask myself, what is the highest use of my time right now? And I also ask myself, essentialism, how do I cut out, eliminate, reduce a lot of the things that are not really high value activities because those are causing frustrations. Those are causing me, you know, less is more. Like I, you know, my job as a coach is not to give you more things to do. It's to give you more high value activity things to do. And it's helped to keep you uh, motivated and inspired within the process. And again, I go through the same thing as a solopreneur, right? I don't wake up and have a quote unquote sales manager. Now I do have accountability partners in my life that I report back to on Mondays and Fridays. But guys, at the end of the day, it still falls on Dr. Bruce to motivate my own self, just like it falls on you to stay motivated within your own business. So when you stop getting the results or you stop making progress, it can become very demotivating for you and your business. So here are some tips for you to stay motivated and to stay inspired when it feels like it's the same shit, different day for you and your business. business. Number one, understand um, you know, like how to vary your daily tasks, right? So salespeople switch between different tasks to avoid being monotonous. So again, that's where I like to follow the theme days. Like Mondays are a certain day for this, Tuesdays is this, Wednesdays this, Thursdays this, Fridays this. 
And so that way, again, when I'm talking about doing high value activities, I can kind of vary some of those activities to make things a little bit more interesting. Okay. Another thing I like to do when it comes to varying my daily task is, you know, I do, I do do a 60 minute power hour every single day. Uh, but within that power hour, I batch those activities. All right. So I batch the activities, meaning, okay, I'm only going to focus on this group of people, right? I'm only going to focus on this type of marketing content. I'm only going to focus on calling these types of people. All right. So that's one thing that you could do where you feel like it's same stuff, different day is to start to vary the daily tasks that you are doing. Maybe you follow theme days. Okay. Number two is setting achievable goals. So I think that's another part is having a clear purpose. Uh, to help you stay motivated. Again, I'm motivated by progress. Daniel Pink talks about this in his book, Drive. People are motivated by autonomy, purpose, and mastery. I believe we are motivated by progress. So we have to stay motivated, or we have to stay making progress towards our bigger goals uh, when it comes to that. Number three tip that I would tell you is you have to be a continuous learner. All right, so just like for these podcasts that I do, the reason I like to pick a different topic every single week it's because, you know, I have my 90 day sales boot camp. I have my five habits. I have my 90 day sales plan. Like that's kind of my bread and butter, the things that I've really mastered that I go up there and I teach. But, you know, creating new content like this allows me that creative freedom as an entrepreneur. So that's another part of this is constantly uh, being a t continuous learner, whether you're listening to podcasts, whether you're studying certain things. Uh, the challenge with that, though, is, again, there's so much out there for you to learn. There's so much out there. There's so much content. We live in the information age. So for a lot of us, that becomes almost demotivating uh, as well. So there's a fine line. So the one thing that I like to do is I just basically create a 500 word blog every single week. And then I do this podcast on that. And this is just a chance for me, again, to stay kind of motivated and inspired where I don't feel like it's same stuff, different day, where I can constantly learn different things uh, within that process. The other part of this would just be networks, right? Like discovering new people, having new conversations. So I want you all out there to have your 100 to 150 active people in your database. Every 90 days that you're consistently engaging with, you're, you have your top 25 advocates, right? Every 90 days, you have 25 to 50 of your promoters or your new clients that you're talking to. And then you have your new business conversations. But with all that being said, getting outside the office, going out there and circulating with purpose, going out there and finding other events to, to attend. Right. Like those are things that that to me are energy compounding versus energy draining. And so you, you get proximity to prosper. So what are the chamber events? What are the association events? What are the networking events that are going on in your markets? And then once a week, get outside the office, which is really part of number five tip that I would give you is your working environments. Right. So if you work from home every single day and you're not getting outside interaction with other people, that's going to become very mundane and monotonous and boring. Uh, so I believe inspirational things happen in inspirational places, okay? So I like to get outside the office at least once a week. Maybe I go work at a WeWork. Maybe I go work at a high rise. Maybe I go do my 100 touch challenge uh, in a fun environment when it comes to that. So on Friday, typically for me, uh, Friday mornings into the Friday early afternoon, I give myself permission to get outside the office, go work from somewhere fun, go work from a coffee shop, go work from a high rise, go work from, again, like a co-share office space kind of a thing. All right. And then a bonus part of this would be, I believe all of us definitely need to have outside hobbies and interests. Listen, guys, I work as much as anybody that I know, but sometimes that just becomes like a doom loop where you're just doing the same thing again and again and again. And when you're doing that, you get stuck, right? You're not going to be cr as creative. So I've had to learn how to give myself 24 to 36 hour kind of windows where I can completely shut it down or I go do outside activities. I go to a sporting event. I go to a happy hour. I go watch a games with a bunch of friends or something like that. So we do need to have outside hobbies uh, and interests when it comes to these kinds of things. So again, I know all of us get stuck in our business. And when we get stuck in our business um, and we lack the motivation or the inspiration and we're not making progress, it's very easy for us to feel like it's same shit, different day. And when it's same stuff, different day, it's really going to be hard for you to go out there and consistently grow in the areas that matter most tied to your sales, your service, your marketing, and your mindset. So, so consistency and routine and discipline for us and our business and the, and the absolute essentials that we should be doing every single day are important. But also ask yourself, how do we do like less is more? How do we be more efficient in the areas that matter the most? And then from there, how do we stay motivated and inspired to go out there and do a lot of these other things? So I hope you enjoyed this special Groundhog Day edition of Same Shit, different day.